Victoria McLean and welcome to my Yeti Geek Gear Wizardry channel. <laughs> Geeky Wizardry for ex to be exact the December box and I have also received for free the wearable box I'm not 100% sure which wearable box it is but if you'd like to see uh, the December Geeky Wizardry and the uh, maybe October November Wizardry <laughs> then keep on watching if you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you then why not subscribe going on with me today? <laughs> it doesn't begin it twice. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> if you would like me to bring Huckles to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> oh my god. What is wrong with me today? I have no idea. Maybe it's because Monica's coming home today. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. She's coming home today. Yay! Um, I can't wait to see how she's my baby. Uh, she's coming home today, but it's tonight because she's working till... Well, she's just finished work, I think. Um, she's working on a Disney film in London. Um, she's quite important. Um, so she's coming home. She's, she hasn't even packed yet. I thought charming. Uh, so she's coming home and then she's... Uh, She's going to drop in, quickly see us, and then she's going to go and see her dad, and then she's going to come back again. Harry didn't know she was coming home. Oh, oh my God, look at this video. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Do you think you've grown since she saw you last? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, she's coming home! Yay! Tired. You're knackered now, and you've been doing that since upstairs. You can see he's a bit excited. Uh, he thought she was coming home on Monday um, because they haven't seen her. Uh, Adam, Harry, and Daniel haven't seen Monica since July because uh, obviously I went to London to film in Noble Collection, so obviously I saw Monica when I went up there. But yes. Uh, so let's get into this. That's it. My life story over. Uh, today I am using Neville Longbottom's wand. We all love the unsung hero Neville. I I love the way that Matthew Lewis portrayed him in the film. So he did a fantastic job of Neville. But they missed out on so many key uh, parts from the books about Neville that people don't actually realise what a hero he actually was. Um, and that he was an incredible, incredible person in his own right. But there we go. He's got a beautiful wand instead. We all love Neville. But I'm going to put it back before I break it. This one is the wearable one, so we're going to go through the wearable first. I don't know which wearable this is. Um, it just turns up. Oh, okay, this is pretty cool. Right, hang on. Right, so we have, these are all XL. Oh, speaking of t-shirts, this one is together for Christmas. This one is from Witchcraft and Wizardry Boutique. Um, I'm actually in their, I think I'm advertising it in there on their website, um, along with their boss at like Bellatrix, which I think was my last one. But I do love their items. They're actually coming out with chocolate frog range now, or a chocolate frog thingy range, which is so lovely. Right, so what's this one after all the noise? I like it. It's white. I'm not a fan of the white t-shirts, but that's just me being odd. Um, but we have a Madam Malkins robes for all occasion t-shirt. That's very nice. Diagon Alley. That's lovely, that one. I like that. Again, this is a size XL. I don't tend to do much with these ones. I wear these for bed, I do, because they're the perfect size for nightwear. That's why I like roomy t-shirts. So if I don't, not a massive fan of the t-shirt that comes... Um, I do tend to just wear it as a night shirt because they're so comfortable. So we've got two t-shirts in here and what looks like a patch. So we have a Thestral patch. That's very nice. A stitched patch from Geekia. That's lovely, isn't it, that one? I think Janice would appreciate that. What do you think, Janice? Do you like that? That's really lovely, isn't it? 
we got a grey t-shirt. I do like my grey t-shirts. I love the colour grey. What is going on with me? I'm a weird woman. I like black t-shirts. I like the colour grey. I love blue. Yeah, I'm just odd. Anyway, let's get back into it. Right, so this one, oh, I like this colour as well. Three brooms, six purple. Look at that. So this is the proper kind of um, getting ready for Hogwarts sort of thing, isn't it? I wonder what that one is. So that one, I really like that one. That's a nice t-shirt. I do like that. I've got 1452 established in. That's mental. And they are right. It's in the three brooms. It's in Hogsmeade. They made a mistake with what was it? Oh God, they had a t-shirt a couple of months ago and it said uh, London and it wasn't, or it was Diagon Alley and it wasn't, it was Hogsmeade. So uh, never mind. And then what's this one? Sweatshirts. I don't like sweatshirts. I give these to Daniel, I do. A uh, Flourish and Blots Diagon Alley. That's nice. It looks like eyes from here because it's so far away from my screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I knew I'm so weird uh, but that is actually pretty I like that however it is long sleeve so it will be going to Daniel so let's pop them in there those tops are probably very much available on their website so make sure that you check out and don't forget to use the all-important discount code Victoria 10 for your 10% off at Kiki so we move on apparently right this Christmas box now I have been hearing a few good things about it. I did, again, I opened the lid, checked nothing had leaked or anything, couldn't see anything, and all I saw was the colour of the t-shirt, which I did think was very similar to the last one. So that was a little bit disappointing. However, the print might be beautiful, we don't know. So let me have a look. So I'm gonna open this. So again, we have the colour, and what I saw looked like Dumbledore's office. Um, so we've got, is Dumbledore's, oh, okay. Forget the colouring, I love that. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful t-shirt? That is gorgeous. Look at the detail on that. I actually have a miniature Dumbledore's office cabinet. So if you haven't seen that video, check out the link above. Um, I was gonna say below, why do I keep getting the, yeah. Anyway, that is actually very, very nice indeed. I do like that. That's really beautiful. What is it about Dumbledore's office that we love so much? Do you know, apparently, rumour has it, it wasn't going to be featured in the films. But I think J.K. Rowling put her foot down and said it needed to be featured in the films. So anyway, enough of me jabbering on, but I know you guys like the jabbering on. Right, we actually have a wand in this month's box. We haven't had a wand for some time. So I wonder what it could look like. Oh my God, I'm really going to stop now. <laughs> Don't forget my live tonight, seven o'clock. <clears throat> seven o'clock, I'm live on my Victoria McLean YouTube channel. So come and say hi, bring your snacks, bring your coffee, bring your tea, bring your cold drink, whatever you want. It's very pretty. I'm interested to see what the wizard's checklist says. That's actually quite remarkable. I wonder if this has got to be a fan designed one, surely. As in, it just looks really good. It's very unusual, but very, very pretty. It would help if I showed you what it looked like, wouldn't it? So that's the top of the wand. It's almost like, I don't know, a, a, um, a balloon or a parcel. It's quite odd, isn't it? It's quite a strange, like, looking item and then as you go further down you have this silver like almost like a ribbon kind of effect going all the way down to this kind of like a um, green crystal or something there i'm not quite sure what to make of it but it's very very pretty it would be interesting to see what exactly this is in a way because there's markings on the wand but it's very pretty. It's actually one that you'd be quite happy to display, you know, it's quite a nice wand, that. But um, yeah, anyway, it doesn't go back in, I don't tend to put them back in the boxes. Um, I actually have a secret compartment that I put all my un, uh, unofficial ones in. And you will never know. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, I 
that's okay. I saw something else and I thought, we've already had that, but we haven't. Right. Okay. I'm sure there's other people that have done unboxings already on this, but I don't care. See, I'm sorry. I could have done it yesterday, but um, I was feeling really ill yesterday. Right, okay. So we have what looks like a Slughorn's Hourglass on the side of the box. You know how good they are. They're replicas at the moment. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? You ready? You ready? Oh. Wow. <gasps> oh my God. Look at that. That is just amazing. I love anything to do with the uh, Slughorn Hourglass. I'm a proper fan of the Slughorn Hourglass. I'm not even a Slytherin. I mean, I am part Slytherin. I reckon I am part Slytherin, right? But this is beautiful, Geek Gear. Oh my God, look at that. Now, there's not much known about the uh, Slytherin uh, Slughorn Hourglass. We know that it was gifted to him a long time ago. We assume it's because he was head of Slytherin House that it is like, it, it looks the way it looks. But as I said, not much is known about it. Uh, just that we know that when the sand runs smoothly, uh, it means that the conversation that is uh, that uh, Slughorn is having is very stimulating. Um, and if it runs fast, then basically the conversation is boring. Um, so when he's listening to something interesting, it's kind of like he's almost trying to get time to stop. And then when he's bored with the conversation, the time runs much quicker. Wouldn't that be great? Um, that is a beautiful replica geek gear. That is absolutely fantastic. I love that. And it's an actual hourglass as well. That is crazy. Wonder how long it runs for. Maybe we should test it out. Right, so we're looking at a pin badge. Oh, is that Durmstrung? We have a pin badge there and it looks like the Durmstrung crest. So we have a new pin badge. I don't think we've ever had any kind of Bow Batten pin badge or anything like that, have we? Nothing has been released that I'm aware of for the Bow Batten crest. So that's nice to have that one there. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, uh, Stan Azieski tries to get hold of that. <laughs> I love Stan. He's such a sweetheart. He sent me a birthday message the other day because somebody thought it was because uh, somebody messaged him saying, "Can he send me a birthday message?" Um, and we, me and Stan are friends anyway. And he said, uh, he, "She sent me the screenshot." She said, he, "She's a friend of mine. I think I have sent her a happy birthday message anyway." And then he sent me another message. I said, "I don't know why." <laughs> You've got this from where she's got this from, I said. My birthday's not till March. <laughs> he thought it was very funny. So the next box we have is uh, is this one here. It is a lemon. Uh, it keeps trying to focus on everything else, this does. It's a box with lemons on. So let's have a look. Lemon and mint. Is that mint leaves or is it just lemon leaves? Oh, it's another one of those shop signs. I actually got rid of, oh, that's so cool. I actually got rid of my last one because it's, I've got to be really picky with what I keep because of the amount of space I don't have in my house. So this is another shop sign. So if you're collecting the shop signs, this is the sherbet lemon one. So the first one was puking, it was pumpkin pasties. And now this one is a sherbet lemon shop sign. Do you know, these are actually Harry's favorite, one of Harry's favorite sweets. Maybe I can put it on his desk and uh, let him have it. Bewitching bursts of citrus. Okay, so we have another box. This looks like a chess piece, obviously because of the packaging. So we have the queen chess piece from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Obviously this is the black chess piece. So this would have been the side that Harry, Ron and Hermione were playing. But that is actually a very, very, very nice piece. Again, I'm not keeping the chess pieces because uh, I'm not keeping the chess pieces because I'm, I'm running out of room to put things. And so I do have to be incredibly picky, um, incredibly picky on what I keep. Uh, as you can imagine, I get sent so much and I'm not complaining at all. I love my job to the point where I would literally see the postman looking like Santa Claus every time he comes down. 
and uh, I get so excited opening those parcels. But obviously not everything I can keep, sadly. I've got to be strict on what I have. So, oh, we have the wand card. Let's have a look at that, because the wand is very pretty. Rega regalia wand. Um, ruby dust. It says it's 13, 13 and three quarters. Caught is ruby dust, and the wood is ebony. So there's the card there. Interesting. It's a very, very, very pretty, pretty wand. So the next thing we have... The wizard's checklist is missing again. That proper sucks, that does. There's no wizard checklist in here. <laughs> okay, so the picture that is coming with the poster is a Geek Gear exclusive. It's an officially licensed item, and it is of one of our favourite witches, Luna Lovegood. She is so cute. I love Luna. Who doesn't love Luna? Come on now, she is wonderful. She's such a beautiful, beautiful human being inside and out she's lovely and then the final item in the box is this month's charm now apparently there has been 10 charms so this would be number 11 i think it is a beautiful silver flying key just there isn't that gorgeous such a beautiful beautiful charm again i cannot reach my jewelry box it is still up there with loads of stuff down i still I, i'm pulling now and i shouldn't be doing it because my back's pulling um but uh, it's i'm in the room on my own film and i do it all by myself so it's very very hard to kind of um have somebody help me do it if, in a way i think if, if janice lived nearby she'd be here every day when i was filming just so she could help me out so that is it i think it's safe to say what my favorite item was I mean, that is just magnificent, that is. It's such a perfect little replica. They're doing so well with their replicas. Now, if you do like anything in this box, don't forget to use my discount code VICTORIA10 for your 10% off at Geek Gear. Uh, a lot of the time, most of the time, in fact, almost all of the time, uh, Geek Gear actually put these boxes on and the items inside the box individually uh, on their website to sell. So you can either buy the box as a whole or buy the items individually. Now, bearing in mind, individually actually costs more, um, but as a whole, then you're saving yourself a bit of money. But again, don't forget to use my discount code Victoria 10. So what was your favorite item? What did you like from this box? Don't forget to join me tonight for my live at seven o'clock on my Victoria McLean YouTube channel. So don't forget that. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very, very calming. I'll probably have almost like no makeup on whatsoever. Sat on my comfy chair and we're going to have a really good, really good natter about everything. I hope you guys are okay. Remember, I love you always and I will speak to you very soon. more of my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe